What oh. episode is this? 79? 79. Oh, it could be 78. Could be wrong. Should I check? I reckon it's 79. Ooh, Avens was 75. According to my calculations, we are on episode... 78. 78? 78. We're climbing. We're climbing. We're getting there. We're getting there. How's your week been, Lockie? Good, mate. Been good. What have you been up to? I worked late shifts this week, 12 to 8.30s. Yeah. Bit of a nightmare, but we got there in the end. But yeah, I'm really relieved. How was it? Like, getting home would have been all right. Nah, well, if you're in Perth, you know that the city's a bit of a fuck fuck fest, right? Mm. So, I did want to catch a train because I was too scared. And uh, so, I just made um, my friends pick me up and mail. And they were fine with that? Yeah. It's only for it's fair to say, the, they probably owe me a couple of lifts, let's be honest. Yeah, let's be honest. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was all right. I mean, there was one on Friday, there was like no calls. So, I was like sitting there doing nothing. Are you was on your phone? Yep, just chilling. Were you how weird, like watching the sunset? Yeah, dude, it's so weird because I'm like top, like 10th level. So, I can see everything over Yagan Square. Can you see like the freeway? Uh, oh, yeah, can Square. Yeah, can Square. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of bit that yeah. goes through to Northbridge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See all that. See the creatures through there. Um, Yeah. It was all right. I didn't mind it. I think if it wasn't in the city, if it was somewhere where it was like easy access, safe, be sick, I'd work late all the time. Yeah, city sucks, man. City does suck. How many Deep. people like want to work there? Eh? I don't blame people wanting to work. They get a promotion to get a parking spot, bro. <laughs> yeah, no shit, bro. 20 days, $20 a day for parking in the city. Twenty dollars, bro. Hundred dollars a week, and you can't throw on like a grand a week if that. It's fucked. You're it's lucky fucked. to be on a grand a week, to be honest. Yeah, man. Doing on like seven fifty a week. That's dog shit, bro. I know it's dog shit. So, well, it, all right, big money spender over here. Me? Yeah. What do you mean? I didn't spend my money on anything. I've been spending money bags. Anyway, how's your day? How's your week, Jimmy? I earned twelve hundred dollars for three days. Suck my dick, man. <laughs> nah, I, um, what did I get up to? Not much. I've just been working, just chilling, relaxing, you know, um, planned my Bali trip for June with my crew. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, so we're going from Kuda to a festival in Noosa. Mm-hmm. We go from Noosa to Noosa Islands, and Noosa Islands to Ubud. 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 The mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then back to Kuda and go home. Nice, man. For two weeks. Nice. Um, yeah, we planned our trip. That's all sorted. And now we're looking at villas and there's 11 of us. Oh, that'll make it easy. So we just went for villas because obviously private, you still get the service of what you want. And it was actually cheaper than getting a hotel, really, if you think about it. It is. And it's better. Way cheaper. And we get your own private pool and all that. Mm. So like for it's Ubud. Ubud. Ubud, yeah. It's, um, we're going to get our best villa there. Um, we looked at this three-story one with an office. <laughs> With an with a T shaped pool with a sunken in, oh yeah, um, big open kitchen and that like you know just really nice, fits everyone. I think each for four nights was three hundred and twenty two dollars each. That's really good. It's better than what you get in Bustleton. Yeah, for an older house, that's really good. It's really good. Yeah, it's like three story mansion. That's really really, really yeah. It's really, 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 good. really good. Yeah, for yeah. So it was like I was more like fuck. So I've just. Bought um, my passport, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, I got my travel vaccines. Um, that was a lot of money as well, so. The vaccine's expensive. Yeah, you have to pay for them now. What? Yeah, so I got my hep A, my hep B. Oh, those ones. I um, those. Rabies. Um, fuck off. Someone <laughs> said it, like, you've already got rabies. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got something else, and that was, f- and to see the doctor, the travel doctor, uh, was $410. Okay. Um, so you, you you haven't had those shots though? No, nah, I've already nah, had them. No, nah, so I had to get them. Yeah, and then, yeah. um, but I had a health insurance, so I got half of it back. That's cool. Um, Medicare paid for the doctor in the end. They gave, gave me the money back. Well, they will. Um, but you have to go back and get more because I'm going to Noosa, and apparently in Noosa, right, there's this disease that's from June to September, because I guess it's like the hot period or something. Or like, mm. I don't know. I know June's like the busy June July for Bali is like the busy time of year. Yeah. Um, but there's a disease in Noosa especially on the islands that you can get. And the vaccine's called Japanese something. I can't remember. And, um, 
Yeah, it's like a $240 vaccine. But, yeah, the doctor said if you're going in June, like, you can risk it, but it can cause brain tumours. So I was like, nah, I'll just get it. Yeah. 240, 240 or all my life. Yeah. That's probably worth and it. And you don't need it once. Yeah. You never have to re-get it. Unlike rabies, you have to get every five years or something. Yeah. Fun. So, yeah. Um, exciting times. It makes you really excited to, like, what we're going to plan for Europe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think I'm coming anymore. Why not? Can't afford it. Other things I need to buy. Like a car. Car. But it could happen. Well, like, look, I'm not man, ruling it uh, out. Honestly, man, like, honestly, because I went to Bali, right? This is what I was about to say. Like, accommodation, I was looking like, oh, I'm going to need to save like a thousand, fifteen, or, bro, I'm looking at like seven fifty. Mm. I know uh, Europe's expensive, but I reckon we could work around like yeah, not being for that sure. expensive. But yeah, at the same time, if you can't, it can't. Um, Maybe. I'm like 50 50. Well, the flights have gone down. Yeah, they would do. Uh, heaps. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, it just makes me excited for like traveling. I don't know. It's it's a you know it's a big process to plan it, but it's exciting when you plan it. You know what I mean? Mm. You get really excited. I wasn't that keen for Bali. I was like, yeah, it's Bali, but now I'm like, yeah, now I'm fucking keen. You, you know, been here. Nah, oh, you're gonna have fun time. Man. Yeah, well, we're not even gonna be in Kuda. Like, we're going to like all these. Yeah, Kuda's Kuda overrated, man. Yeah. It's just like you it's, go there when you're young. You go there, get pissed. Yeah, like the first day. We, so we we fly in the sixth. We on the seventh, bro. I get to, we're gonna go Waterbomb Park. I've that's never, fucking sick. Never bro. been, so I want to go. Yeah, and then we're doing a beer cycling tour at five o'clock. Yeah, that's Last, that's good fun. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like fun shit. Fun shit. Yeah, I'm going in October. Oh, uh, what for? My granddad's turning eighty. <laughs> he's got a Bali. Yeah, he wants one of them ladies, bro. He wants yeah. one of them ladies. Yeah, he got one. Man. He's married. Is he over there? Yeah, he oh, had to he... get married to stay there. Oh, really? Yeah, because they changed the laws. You had to be married to stay in Bali. Oh, so he's got a wife. Yeah. How old is she? <laughs> Fucked if I know. Is this your mum's or your dad's side? Dad's. John Senior. John Senior. John Senior. John Senior. Yeah. Nice, God. Yeah, he lives sick. over there. He's fucking living it up. So we're going over there in October. He's got a nice house? Yeah, it's pretty nice, eh? Hey? Yeah. Like a little villa looking so thing. So he retired and went there? Oh, yeah. He retired ages ago. Mm. So yeah, we'll go on there. I've been looking at flights at like 397 return at the moment. Do you reckon his stomach would be used to um, barley belly now? Probably. I've never had barley belly that every time I've been there. It's like the one thing I always hear about people worrying about, like the water you can't get in your mouth. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. don't. Brush your teeth with bottled water. Yeah. What about washing your hair? That's fine. Just don't get in your mouth. How are you meant to do it though? Like Close your mouth. <laughs> and then what? When you get out, wipe your lips straight away. Yeah. It, if you, the thing I, the understanding that I have is if, if you're overprotective about barley belly, you're gonna get it. Okay. But if you're just kind of chilling, don't have ice in your drinks at the bars and shit. Um, what about when they wash stuff? Yeah, it's it's pretty low, wouldn't it? I I, I normally say just drink out of bottles, yeah, and yeah, cans yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I go, I mean, I've never had barley once, and I've been there Multiple so many times. times. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm, yeah. I never really hear anyone getting it, but it's just like what diarrhea? Eh? Yeah, it's just like a fucking gastro bug. Yeah, you get it like it only lasts like a day or two. Yeah, but it can ruin your trip. Oh yeah, hundred percent. If I paddle all this money and I'm stuck in a village shitting myself, yeah, it's gonna suck. Just, just be diligent. Yeah, hundred percent. Bottles, cans. Try stay away from ice. Yeah. If the restaurant says like, oh, it's made from bottled water, then it's fine. Yeah. 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 I'm stay away. Well, that's nice. So yeah, Bali. I do miss Bali so much. When I, I was think young, going I was like fucking. Oh, I want to go to Bali and just fucking party. And my, now I'm just like, I just want to go to Bali and do fuck all. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of nice villas, man. Yeah, there is like some fucking crazy ones, bro. We even look on Airbnb. Mm. Airbnb depends where you want to be. Like some people complain about you too far from Cuda, but at the same time, it's like if you got a villa, you got everything you need, bro. The taxis are five dollars. Yeah, well, we're looking at a driver, right? Yeah, a drivers and, are the best. And uh, with this driver, right, forty five dollars a day can fit seven people in his yeah, car, and he plans everything for you. So yeah, you know. no, they're like proper tour guides. Yeah. The thing I was um talking to Tom about it because he was like, oh, what if we. When we go, what if, um, you know, we go to Finn's Beach Club and we're there till like early morning, early morning kind of thing. We won't find a taxi. I'm like, driver, dude. They're like Pay the extra, nice job. At yeah. least you're going to be safe. Get home. Like, bro, they haven't any the like fuck. business for two years. Yeah. They're like, they're ready, man. I would happily rather spend 40, 45 bucks to just get home safe Someone rather than walking you. around trying to find a taxi. 100%. I agree. I got another tip for you. If you get in the taxi, make sure they have a meter. Why is that? Because then it tracks how long, how much it's actually going to cost you. Oh yeah, because because otherwise, if they don't have a meter, they can fuck you. They they'll fuck you. 
I mean, they'll fuck you out of five bucks, but still. Meter. Always. I get what you're saying. Yeah, 100%. Bluebird taxis, I think they're called. I don't know if it's changed now, but my dad's always like, get a bluebird because they're the ones that meters. Yeah, got you. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Fun. That's nice. Yeah. Well, it's currently 3.30 on Sunday, the 5th of March, mm-hmm. and we may have a guest coming on. We may not. We may not. We may. If we do. We're just waiting to hear back. It'll be a game changer. Because he did just fly in about four hours ago, five hours ago. Five hours ago, yeah. And, you know, it's under center. He's probably got some things he wants to do. Yeah. Probably wants to sleep. So Yeah. So, if it happens, the second hour of this podcast will be, well, second whatever it is, will be with him. It was a long shot. We'll it was look, a fucking long it shot. It was a period. massive long shot and we will surprise that because the... Uh, the person actually followed us. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to ask him. Yeah, fuck it. And yeah, he was keen. But, you know, two was a fucking hectic man. Like, yeah, man. Like, I said, I said, I was like, look, the fact that he's even wanting to come on is massive for massive. us. I'm yeah. so happy with that. Yeah. You know, shows where we're at. Because it, it, this guy is massive. Man. He's got 70,000 followers, right? For uh, for me, like, that just paves the way for, like, man, we could just go for anyone now. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like, you know, people with 20K or, you know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. I'm just like, it just makes me think of other artists and now I'm not too afraid to ask. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, so we might be like a little bit like upset it didn't happen, but at the same time, we're also glad that you learn. You learn from this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, man's been flying around all weekend. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, I don't blame him. If he no. wants to just go fucking chill out. You yeah, well, asked so to do, it, man. I, I asked to do Monday, um, but... He flies out tomorrow morning. So that's just crazy. Like, if yeah. you come here for a day and you're back on the plane. Yeah. Either way, it's love, man. It's love, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, yeah. It's calm, man. It's fucking, yeah. It would be sick if he comes on, but. I'd probably cry. Yeah. Inside. Hey. I, I want to act tough in front of him. <laughs> He's going to watch his back and be like, these two dweebs, man. Yeah. Dorks. Dorks. <laughs> talking about barley. What, what's barley, man? <laughs> <laughs> he really loves barley. Probably. I'm, I saw Flavor D went to Bali uh, and enjoyed it, her uh, two weeks there after she did her Aussie and New Zealand tour. Mm, she's a gun, man. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, well, she's been in the scene for what, like 10 years? Yeah, wow. Well, longer, longer than that. She's been around since I've been starting to Sammy go. Ver- I remember that photo of Sammy Vergie. He went and watched Flavor D when he was didn't even produce music. Yeah, and then three years later, yeah, he, he fucking yeah, made a tune with her. Crazy, man. The hustle. Well... Me and Vinny have been planning to have a guest on, so we're kind of just freeballing it at the moment. I got, I got topics we can talk about. You got topics? Yeah. Yeah, bring some up. We were going to have uh, Bromad on, but... We'll get him on next when we're, when I'm back. When we're back, yeah. Yeah. So, um, as you all know, I'm a massive movie fan. I've watched quite a lot of movies this really? year. Really? Oh, my God. Well, it's a lot of movies this year, right? Yeah. And recently... I don't know what sparked it, but this is what happens when you love movies, man. I started doing a DreamWorks animation marathon, mm. watching all of them. Yeah. I'm currently through most of them. I think I've got Mega Mine and Chicken Run left and Flushed Away. Chicken Run, dude, that's fucking sick. And Flushed Away. Yeah. I put a poll up ages ago, right? And I said, what's your favorite DreamWorks movie? And, and everyone said an animation movie besides two people said Transformers. No, it's not an animation movie. Idiots. What's your favourite, Lockie? Favourite animation movie? From DreamWorks. This conversation earlier, well, a while ago, I can't remember mm. what I said, though. you got to pick one I mean, film. obviously Shrek's up there, yeah. but, like, Kung Fu Panda's pretty good. Would you pick, like, well, what's, Kung your, Fu Panda's DreamWorks, right? what's your one film? Fuck. Are we, are we picking just DreamWorks? Yeah, animation. Mm, I don't know. I'm more of a Pixar guy. You're a Pixar man. I reckon I'm more DreamWorks. I'm definitely more. I like Toy Story. Yeah, I like Toy Story. Like them, I don't know. DreamWorks, fuck, probably Shrek. Shrek, Shrek Two, Shrek Two, oh, Shrek yeah, 2. Shrek Two. Mine was Shrek Two, and then I rewatched all of them, and it's definitely How to Train Your Dragon, the first one. Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about that. It's just got so Dragon. much feeling with it, man. It is know. a good movie. I don't know how to explain it, man. A couple movies. Yeah, I'm still yet to watch the new Push and Boots as well. Yeah, bro, I'm wasting yeah. my time with that shit, man. Man, everyone says it's good. Yeah, but come on, man. I don't know. I, th- I don't like DreamWorks that much. Really? You're more, yeah, I'm so more you're actually Pixar. that more of a Pixar guy. Yeah, I am. Absolutely. So what's your favorite Pixar? Toy Story. Fuck, we got Toy Story, Incredibles. 
Fuck, what else? Finding Nemo. Ne- Dude, Nemo. Fuck, yeah. that's a sick movie. I think Pixar was more of a staple when I was younger, but I guess DreamWorks started coming out more when we were growing up, where Pixar was when we were born. What's Over the Hedge? DreamWorks. So there we go. I would take Over the Hedge. Really? Over all of those. You know my dog's named after Vern? Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, and it's actually crazy how um stacked they get these lineups, bro, to voice. Oh, yeah, yeah like Voice like, acting, there's so much money in voice acting. Yeah. Man. It's fucking good. But wild. it can't be that hard. Like, I guess you got to act. You've got to act like you're that actual character. But you've yeah, got to make the mannerisms. You have to remember lines, though, because it's right in front of you. It's like when you call me on the phone, you can tell when I'm happy or sad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. You've got you to act. act. Yeah. yeah. It's like coming on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Acting. Acting. I want to kill my mom. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. I would just thought, like, but everyone, right? I did that poll about Shrek and Cars. Shrek won by 10 votes out of 120 votes. I'd, put, I'd back Shrek. You back Shrek? Yeah. Over Cars? Yeah, I think so. I know the first Cars is pretty iconic. It is, but it's not it's as iconic Shrek or Shrek. Cars. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Shrek's better. It's pretty hard to pick them. I don't know. It's crazy we're talking about kids' movies right now. And I'm thinking know, about right? it, bro. But yeah. I don't, I'd, I'd definitely pick some of DreamWorks any day of the week. Picks, yeah, okay. I think DreamWorks has more range. Do you reckon Shrek did better numbers than every Pixar movie besides Toy Story? Should we search it up? Are you looking at box office? Yeah. I'll search I feel like Shrek. Toy Story would have been... I'll search Shrek. All right, I'll do Toy Story. Holy fuck. Pix- Holy fuck, cunt. Okay, yeah, go. What did Shrek do? Shrek 1 only made $491 million, but... Shrek 2 made 935 million. What about the other ones? Shrek 3 made 756 million. Sh- oh, sorry, that was Shrek 4. Shrek the third made 813 million. You want to hear Toy Story's numbers? It'd be like 1.2 bill. Well, number one only did 394.4 million. 300, yeah. Yeah. Two did 512 million. Mm hmm. Three did 1.067 billion. Yeah. And Toy Story 4 did 1.073 billion. I think because... It's nostalgia, bro. Yeah. I think Toy Story 1 and 2, right? That was a very long time ago. I think we weren't even born. Toy Story 2 was... Nine, 1999. I wasn't even born yet. I was. Toy Story 1 was what? 1997? 90, no, sorry. 2 was 99. Yeah. What's 1? 1 was 1995. You're kidding. Number was one was ninety five. Was out before we were born. Yeah, nineteen ninety five, dude. And Toy Story three came out in what two thousand and ten. Toy Story four, two thousand nineteen, dude. And apparently, they're making a Toy Story five. Okay, they need to stop now. I I'll mean, still, five's a better looking number. I'll still be there. <laughs> Me too, bro. I still haven't seen Lightyear. It's alright. I don't even care for shit, man. Kids movies do so crazy numbers, man. Well, I guess because everyone can what watch did Nemo it. Do? That's why, you know, that Megan movie that came out? That's yeah. why they rated it M. So more people can watch it, make money. Mm. That's what happens, man. Holy fuck. First Nemo did 90, 940 million. Really? Finding Dory, Dory did bump just over a billion. What did Incredibles 2 do then? That must have made bank, bro, because everyone was asking for that. So the first one did 631 million. Second one did 1.2 billion. Wow. <laughs> Wow, bro. You know, yeah, it's literally right because we're all grown up and we still gonna go watch it, aren't we? I'm gonna go watch Toy Story Five. Yep. And do you I, know? I went to watch Buzz Lightyear. I was Lightyear. really surprised with um, Incredibles Two. Did you like it? I really did. I did like it. It did get a little bit of hate, but nothing beats the first movie. Never. The only like, there's a few. So actually, a good topic. What's better than the first? Star Wars. Okay, I will give you that. Shrek Two. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. Lord of, yeah, Lord of, yeah. The first one. Harry Potter. Do you reckon Chamber of Secrets is better? Yeah. Oh, Country Mile, man. Yeah, I do agree with that. Um, What else is there? Avatar. <laughs> Lol. Do you reckon, I reckon the first one's better. Absolutely. Yeah. Number two was still good. Piss. Yeah. Oh, he's taking the piss. Um, it's probably about it. John Wick. First one's probably better. First one's probably better. Second movie, think about trilogies. Godfather 2, maybe. I don't know. If I haven't seen, seen Godfather. Godfather. You should really watch it. Paranormal right? Activity 2. I reckon. Conjuring. Insidious. Insidious. Bro? Yes. Yeah, Insidious yes. That's two, a good bro? one. Yeah. Fucking hell. 
I gotta rewatch those. Hey, we should do a scary movie night one day. We should. And we should record ourselves. <laughs> I would shit myself still at that jump set, even if I knew it was coming. I hate trying to look at box office numbers because it always gives me American. Like it's always going to be American because box office is American. Yeah, but de- domestic. Like, give me worldwide. That is worldwide. Box office is American. Everything goes through them. But lifetime gross. Oh, it's telling me the gross. Yeah, so all together, how much it's earned? Well, Shrek two. Box office is first week, isn't it? Or first? No, nah, box office is all together. Well, the highest is Shrek 2 with 441 million. Shrek the third, 322. Shrek 3 was the biggest letdown in my life. <laughs> Talk about Shrek 4. The problem is they do keep doing the same shit. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it's like the same movies. Like, don't kick a dead horse, man. Like, just let it Now let you're it just die. taking the piss. Like, yeah. Toy St- it's funny because I see, like, Toy Story 5. You're like, we don't need this. No. I don't even need Toy Story 4. To me, Toy Story 4 was just me crying. Yes, I am. It really, that really hurt watching that. Mm. Um, but, yeah, you just tell them making money now. They're just trying to... Same as Star Wars, man. I think that's a problem with Disney, man. I think Disney... Well, too- Disney, bro, Dis- that's... They're what, the richest company in the world, pretty much. They're the, they're they're the, the greediest there. cunts I've ever fucking met, bro. Speaking of Disney, a Mandalorian 3 came out. Did you watch it? I haven't watched it yet. Apparently it's really good, but apparently, apparently it drags on. It was 38 minutes, the shortest episode ever. I don't know, man. I think... Three years it took to make that. Mm. I don't picture, know. Picture this, right? You love a show that much, right? So let's say, what's our favourite show? Out of Banks. Out of Banks. we got to speak about that. we still got to speak about that. But let's say, okay, Out of Banks, Sex Education. Imagine we waited three years for, for a new season, right? Man, it wasn't three years. It was. No, it wasn't. It was COVID, yeah. It did not come out in 2020, dude. What? Since the second the season? The se- second season was okay, not. Okay, when did it come out? What the fuck? Told you, bro. Wait, that can't be right. Yeah. 2019? Oh, that was the first season. Wasn't the second season? Because I remember I was like 20. Season two. I was 20. 20- it was. Bro, I was. Holy fuck. Because I used to come over to Perth every weekend. I watched that Luke Skywalker scene in the last. Yeah. No fucking shit. That yeah, was three years ago. It was COVID, bro. No, it can't be because I was in the new house. It it was. Man. I'm telling I you. I moved in last year. I was year. 20 years old when that Mandalorian season two came out. Oh, no. Season season one was 2020. 2021. Okay. Okay. Even still, two years, two years. That's fucked. Imagine you waited two years, right? Which we normally do for like Stranger Things, right? Yeah. But it's 38 minutes long for the first episode and you have to wait another week for it. Yeah, I think weekly Scrap. releases should be scrapped. This part one and part two shit Netflix is doing right now, fuck off, fuck off, man. It's money scheme, bro. Do you watch you? Nah. Yeah, bro. Watch part one of you, five episodes. Now I gotta wait till next. W- it's been a month now. Next week, part two comes out. Another five episodes. Stranger Things, but yeah, it is a money thing. It's a money thing. It's it's how they keep subscriptions rolling. Yeah, a whole month. The Stranger Things all came out all at once, eh? Huh? Stranger Things came out all at once, didn't nah, it? No, the f- the. First six came out, and the last oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then the last two. But the last right. two were like five hours. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Outer Banks. Let's talk about Outer Banks? Yeah, I really want to talk about Outer Banks, because um, I, I'm no shit. This season's made me... that Outer Banks just shot to number one for me. Really? Yeah. All together? All together. Ever. It's my favourite show ever. Ever? Ever. Ever? Yes. It's. I mean, Stranger Things is like nipping at the feet, but like, dude, that is, it was so good, man. It was good. I love seeing people reviewing on TikTok. Yeah. About being like, now it's just ridiculous what they're doing. These kids should be in jail. No, nah, fuck. And I'm like, uh, it's called sh- fantasy, bro. Shut like, the fuck up. Turn your brain off. Well, and you're not sooking about stra- eleven moving shit with their mind. Yeah. Like, well, kind. That's the whole point. They're fucking. It's fake. And that's the one thing I, my favorite person I see on TikTok review named George. He yeah, literally said, it, yeah. He said, this is a show. You turn it on and you switch off and you have fun. Because he loves how fun it is. It is a fun show. It is great. You know, like, we had some friends over. We're all crammed up in this lounge room, but we still vibe, man. Mm. Like, bro, when Rafe and Madeline Klein got together, not Rafe, sorry, um, that other guy, her ex. Oh, Topper. Yeah, Topper. Bro, you should have not been in that room, bro. There was shit. That Topper's was, the biggest bitch I've bro, ever seen in my life, man. I can't believe you tried to burn him alive, man. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, okay. What do you say? What do you not like? What didn't you like about the show? Let's go with that first before we go to the good parts. I thought the villain was a bit of a bitch. He was a fucking idiot, kind of. I fucking um, hated him. But in the, at the same time, I kind of like how they portrayed it. Like it's not he's not meant to be this. Like he was relentless, but like at the same time, he wasn't like your typical villain. He yeah. was like a businessman. Yeah, you know what I mean. He was useless in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I think. He wasn't I scary. I didn't think it was bad. No, he wasn't scary. I don't think it was bad, but I think they could have done something a little bit better. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, I don't know. He wasn't like he was only in it for like what four episodes? Yeah, out of the ten. Yep. And I reckon he was just like, yeah, he just wasn't threatening. You know what I mean? Like, no. with Vecna, like you felt the fear of him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like he was powerful. This guy was like, I have an army, and you, he's like fucking five four cunt. Like, I'm not scared of you, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. I, I think with some scenes, I was like, that was way too easy. Yeah, did you see like fucked up with the stunt doubles? No, I didn't. Oh, I gotta show you it, bro. There's like a you know that the Rafe and um the other chick went to go jump on the Ute and they escaped his camp. Mm. You can see the stunt double's face and the chick's actually a guy. <laughs> really? Yeah, you can see the stunt double's face. Oh fuck, I didn't notice that. Why can't they run to a truck, bro? It's not that hard. I'm not gonna break a leg running to a truck. Yeah, I don't know. But Dude, I, think, hey, I got a hot take for you. What? Who would you rather? Key? Was Zendaya Because I had a massive debate With Tom and May about this Because I'm taking key man yeah, She's I think, fine yeah, bro she is fine This season like She was like I think that this was her season dude, I'm not gonna lie man This is a ho- another hot take I kind of find her a bit more attractive Than Madeline Klein uh, this season Bro fuck uh, Madeline Klein yeah. Bro fuck this. Bro Yeah Bro. Oh, do you know how vexed I was? Do you know how vexed? I looked at me, I was like, this can't be happening. <laughs> what, when they're about to kiss? When they did kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, he's a little whore, man. I was like, <laughs> I was fucking, I was vexed, man. Like, love Madeline Klein. Like, don't get me yeah, wrong. I was, it, was a, it was a character, obviously. I was not I was happy, like, bro. I was literally like, me and Jay got up like, no, like throwing shit, bro. And this is like, no. Nah. And then he came back and said, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I'm so sorry. And she was like, oh, I kissed Tabu. I was like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. And he's like, oh, no hard feelings, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh dude. bro. I would have fucking punched him as well. Oh, yeah. I would have socked him, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm actually kind of sick of though. Like, next season, right? Do not give me another Sarah and fucking John B break up again. Yeah. You've done it every single season. Keep them apart, bro. And they always come back the last season, the last episode. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How about this, right? Did you start... Um, Fuck! What's the what's his what's the dad's name again? Um, oh, fuck! I what forget. Sarah's dad? Yeah. Um. Um. Cameron. Yeah. His last name's Cameron. Yeah. What's his Ward Cameron? Ward. Yeah. yeah Ward. Yeah. Ward. Ward. Did you start feeling like oh he's re- redeeming himself? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, bro! I looked at May. was like, oh, he's actually really sweet now. Yeah, and then he's just like. Come here, Sarah. Yeah, and he, <laughs> and he just had a spaz attack in a fucking cave, and he was like, I'm going to kill everyone. Guys. Yeah, legit, bro. <laughs> the, the way he died was sick, but yeah. I rated that. I was like, yeah, that's good. You know what would be funny if he comes back? <laughs> Dude, if he comes back. <laughs> I'm just like, this guy can't, can't die, bro. No, nah, I, I like the way they sent him yeah. off. I think that was good. Like, I was like to him, I was like, he redeemed himself. Yeah. Like, he did what he could. And then he fucked up again. So you're like, oh, he's never going to yeah, change. Yeah, he's never going to change. Um, but, yeah, I think, I was upset to see him go, because I think he's, was a really main character, you know what I mean? Like, mm. he was the villain. He, Do you know what? He was a very good villain. He was a very good villain. He was yeah. a very good actor and a villain. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm sad to see him go. Yeah. It's hard. But you know what? I think the best actor is, male actor that needs to be in movies right now. Say it. Rafe, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, well, who are you going to say? I was going to say JJ, but yeah, Rafe oh, is JJ good needs to be in more movies as well. Yeah, J- yeah Rafe's good. But we're not up to him yet. Matt, Matt's got a massive crush on Rafe. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we were in. So we did a group watch, right? It was ten of. I was like ten of us, right? I think all the girls every time Rave came on the TV, like, oh yeah, they're like, yeah, he's so hot, yeah. And I mean, Jay, like, yeah, daddy issues, yeah, <laughs> crack issues, <laughs> <laughs> anger issues, yeah, so hot, bro. Right, he, I get it. He is an attractive bloke. Anyway, he is a fucking good actor. I'll he give him is, that, man. bro. He is a very good actor. Yeah. He needs to be in some movies, bro. He, he needs will, to. Man. He needs to be a psycho or something. He portrays, like, just the way... If they ever do a remake of American Psycho... Yeah. He, bro, he pants and shit, and you can yeah. just... Like, when he, the like... emotion. Yeah, the emo- He's a very good actor. Even when he's, like, fully tapping out, and he's, like, like the little face... Yeah. Moves, I'm like, yeah, he's, he's about it, bro. He's a good actor, man. And he's, yeah. like... 
Oh, when Ward came back, yeah. and he's like, I'm the fucking man now. I'm yeah. like, yeah. That's yeah. acting, bro. Yeah. That's an actor. You know, it was a little bit of a letdown this episode, this series was John B. Yeah. Man, we actually got a lot to talk about this season because I did not like the dad at nah, all. He's a prick, eh? Bro, he was a fucking cunt. Greedy man. cunt. The ending was good. The ending was sweet, man. Yeah, but I'm yeah. glad he's not coming back next season. Yeah. He was he was proper, like, driven for gold, didn't care about his son. The Hoobers let him get shot, man. Huh? Remember they were opening the thing? The, they put the, the thing in the thing and then the Donnie was about to shoot him? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. was like, yeah, shoot him, cunt. I don't yeah, care. yeah. It I was, was like, fuck, fuck man. Yeah. yeah. I did not like the chemistry between John B and his dad. I yeah, kind of, weird. I think the whole thing about Outer Banks is when they're all together. Yeah. You know I mean? And then like that, that was, they're really good chemistry all together. Yeah. I think the whole point though was to make his dad like that. Yeah. Because yeah. that kind of was how yeah. he was portrayed. I'm not saying like it was a bad I, thing. Yeah, it wasn't show. bad, but it was annoying. But the thing was, I think they did the job because that's yeah. what they want you to feel. Dude, did you get anxiety when you shot the guys in the boat? Yeah, bro. I Dude, was, like, I was like, I was like bricking. I was like, kind of. That was me in that situation. Yeah. Oh fuck! You gotta think that. about it. John B's seventeen. Yeah, man. Imagine seeing your dad just pop two, bro. <laughs> Chuck him in the river. But we are on. I think uh, who's the other guy? The one who has his family has the cross. Pope. Pope. I think he he was like just the same as last season. He wasn't really the main character like last season. I actually. I actually think otherwise. I think, I think that he his development this season was really good. Towards the end, I think when like he became like I don't know. He kind of turned into like JJ a bit when yeah, he went like through trauma. Bit, he yeah. was like ready to pop brave. Yeah, and you know everyone stopped him. I think um, he didn't develop much, but like just the the way he changed the personality, I guess. But like that was cool. Do you like the new Jamaican chick? I think she's fucking I great. She's eh? sick, bro. Yeah. I love how she controls him as well. Like. Not controls him like um. I like them getting together. Yeah, yeah, I like I that. like that, bro. That was sick. Yeah, I liked how. Uh, like you know what I mean? Like she was like she's there for him. You could see it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. she was looking after him. But before we end this, we're gonna talk about JJ, man. Yeah, man. What a might, season bro, from him. He is my favorite character in any TV series ever. Yeah, he was really great, man. Like you could just see from the start, he didn't want to go home. He got home. He just knew his life was nothing. You know, and he developed so much well, so well during that mm -hmm. season towards the end. I think they really did JJ's character well this year. 100%. 100%. Uh, yeah, and he's in Uncharted. Is he really? Yeah, he plays the brother of Nathan. Oh, I still need to watch that. I haven't watched it yet. It's a, like, if you've never played the game, I think you'd like it as a movie. But played the game. Way back yeah. when. Yeah, so I think um, overall, I'm giving, this, giving that season, I'm probably give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, probably about the same. Yeah, about the same, yeah. Yeah. Um, but one thing I do have to give him credit for is like how like the colour they use for the each scene. It's like yeah, orange. Yeah, you can tell when they're home. Yeah. And you can tell when they're away. Away, it's like all yeah, orange. It's cool. Yeah, like just like a nice sunset vibe the whole time. Mm. Overall, great show. I'm keen for season four. I think they could have ended it there. They could have, yeah. but when I heard the ending, I literally almost passed out. Do you like that kind of stuff? Dude. Are you a big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, just Pirates in general. Yeah, okay. I used to be a obsessed, yeah. bro. Obsessed. Blackbeard. When I heard yeah. Blackbeard, bro, I looked at him and I was like, no fucking way. Like, that is sick, bro. That is so sick. It's crazy how they jumped 18 months as well, eh? Yeah. Bro, I like I like how it ended, though. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, they, they they found it. They did I think this. those were another three seasons and that would be it. Maybe one more. I think it's I mean, I think, one or two more. I think they needed to do the time jump as well because obviously John B in real life is actually 30 years old. Mm. They're obviously all going to get older. So they need to do the time jump. Yeah. I think the next one will be another jump. Yeah. When they come back. Yeah. I'm intrigued to see where they go with this season. Next one. Yeah. Um, is it confirmed they're doing another one? Yeah. yeah it, already, okay, it got confirmed fuck. before release. Yeah. Thank fuck. Because they threw a festival for it. Yeah. And heaps of people rocked up. Thank God. Um, It'll be a sad day when the show ends. I mean, just see what happened to Rafe. Remember he's on the, the airport? Yeah. Bro, some guy on TikTok was like, man, they did a massive plot hole. Like, what happened to Rafe 18 months later? Like, he just got left on the tarmac with the cops. And I'm like, that is the point of the next season. You <laughs> some people on TikTok, eh? Oh, man. I can tell you he's a very rich man now. Who? He would have inherited oh, all that gold, man. Yeah, I wonder if the the sister and that come back and Madeline moves in with him. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe, Maybe we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'm excited. Great show, though. Great, yeah, great show. Great season. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm. What else is coming out this year? Um, hopefully, sex education by the end of the year. 
Maeve's fucked off, hey? No, this is her last season. I think... That's all right. I think they should end it. Yeah, I think so I think well. they should end it because that is a really great show. And I think Maeve fucking off. Like, I can't believe she wants to leave. Like, she's not really anything else. She's in... Maybe she's been offered other things. <sighs> I doubt a, it. But. I, I don't know, man. Like, surely... You, this character you developed and you fall in love with and you act and made you who like, you know, a, a career in, in your staple point. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, and you just want to leave it. There is contracts and shit as well though. Yeah. True. Well, You're she not going to spend fucking a year of your life making peanuts, you know? Yeah. Well, she said, I'm um, saying goodbye to me. So maybe the UK pays different to America. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I'm excited. Um, What else is coming out this year? Off the top of my head, I can't remember. We watched Ant Man. Oh, we did we're watch Ant Man. Saving that for Bro Made when he comes on, though. Yeah. I really want to hear his take on it. I already talked to him about it in Smile Hole. Well, not I talked to him a little bit, not all of it. Yeah. Um. Is he similar to you, or is he more me? Nah, I've actually gone down on it. So when I left the cinema, I gave it a two and a half. Dude. When I left, I gave it a one, and then I would, two days later, I gave it a one and a half. I would have given it none. I probably get. Someone was saying that they don't rate the movie on the credit, uh, the post credits. I reckon the half a star was for the post credits. <laughs> Even so, man, the post credits were pretty shit as well. Nah, that that mid one was the, fucking. The Kang one was sick. That but like, I think yeah. We'll, I don't know. We we we're gonna save it for Bromac because yeah. I want to speak to him about it. Yeah. I want to get his take on. Is he similar to us or? Was he nah, I, th- I think he likes it. Yeah, I don't know. But he's more. I think he's a be- like a die hard. No, he's com- he's read comic books. Yeah, okay, fair um, enough. Well, like I've, I haven't. Yeah, I go through TikToks and listen to information. Yeah, um, I don't know, man. My overall rating, I thought it was dog shit, but I want to get. We'll, into we'll it get with deeper with it. He's yeah, on it with Bro Man. Um, man, I watched Cocaine Bear. <laughs> oh yeah, was that good? Bro, it was so funny, and it was, bro. It's it's pretty like average. Like you know, it, what do you expect with yeah, the Cocaine yeah, yeah, Bear yeah, movie, yeah. right? The bear was actually better CGI than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, there were funny parts. Um, they weren't really gory, which I think was better. Yeah, he needed it. Um, I think because of the budget, there wasn't enough bear, but there was too many actors. So there was a, like, I think there was like eight different characters mm. that they all try to build a story for. Yeah. And then they, you probably had about thirty minutes screen time at an hour and a half bed of the bear, mm. which I guess is all right, but. It's a bad a bear doing cocaine, killing people. I don't need a backstory for each character. Mm. You know, like, it's the typical mum, single mum with a with a kid in middle school, and she works late shifts, being a nurse. You know what I mean? I think that's the whole. I don't know. I I do really want to say. Did you see the chick that like? I think the director. I think she's a yeah, chick. Reese Witherspoon. No, Re- not Reese Witherspoon. Kate. But anyway, she yeah. was like, she wants funding for a cocaine shark. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny, cunt. I do want to watch it though. It's like one of those yeah, like I recommend ditzy, watching like it. stupid. Yeah, it's better quality than you think. Yeah, I just think that if it was a thirty minute of just a bear killing people on cocaine, I probably would have given it a high rating. Yeah, but what did you give it? I gave it a three out of five. That's oh yeah, top standard, bro. That's but pretty good. It's, it's when you rate it, it's for like what it is. Yeah, it's 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 for like that is like a silly movie. You go in there, you don't. Think about, like, oh, how good's the acting? How good's this? You know, yeah. is this going to win an award? No, you go in there and you're like, okay, it's this, like raunchy is, comedy this is fun, story. you know, bit of like, switch my brain off, have a like, chill yeah. out for an hour and a half. Yeah. It's like the epic movies and shit. Yeah, They're exactly. Just so dumb. Yeah. So dumb. You so dumb, f- like, just switch off. Can't have epic fun. movie, bro. The X Men. <laughs> the epic You've got powers. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets with that chick that changes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get. Get bigger <laughs> Jack, The epic movie was so good man bro, I used to watch it Just to see the titties Come out the wardrobe Yeah bro <laughs> You know what the funny thing was Right My um I wanted to watch it Because I thought it was a superhero movie Because it was based off Narnia Oh true So I was like Mom we gotta go watch this movie And then She asked um, Because mum used to take me to the movies And just like You used to buy tickets And you used to pick a movie When you were there And she was like Oh would epic movie be alright For my kid And I was like I don't know like nine And she was like yeah, 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 he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, my, me and my nephews watched it, bro. Mum was not happy when she came <laughs> out of that cinema. Then we watched that. When they having <laughs> shit, bro. Oh. oh, yeah, dude. The scenes are fucking nuts. Yeah. It was it was funny. Yeah, yeah. Like superhero movie? Superhero movie's good. Yeah, that's a good one. I've only watched like one of the scary movies. 
Really? Yeah, I haven't really that's a good. That's a good. Uh, it's good to good watch. Binge watch. Good binge watch. Yeah. Mm. Um, one and two are funny. Threes. I don't know. I'd say three is like actually like a good movie. Well, the third scary movie. Yeah, like it's hard yeah. to say. Like you know, one and two are like one's the best. Mm. Two's like I find funny. Three's like actually a decent movie. Okay. Even though they're trying to make it a parody, four's is dog shit, and I haven't even seen five. Mm. Mm. But what's another? What's more parodies, man? They did a Paranormal Activity one. I think that was part of the scary that, that, movie. That's so. That's a uh, scary movie five. Mm. They did a The Hangover Games. Oh yeah, Hangover Games. games yeah. Yep. I haven't watched that. Oh, there was a few, wasn't there? Superhero. Yeah, those movies are... Wait, they stopped making them, bro. They made the 300 Spartans one. Yes, bro. Bro, what was I that? I remember what it's called. I remember that penguin came up to him and bashed him and he goes, suck my nuts. Yeah. Suck my nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Good times, yeah. Those when times are easy, man. Very easy. So, <laughs> we talked about movies for about... A while, thirty minutes. B- bear in mind, I do I do apologize if it is a bit of a shitty episode, but it wasn't did, what we were expecting. We did plan to have him to guest on. Um, hopefully, we'll get someone during the week. Maybe, hopefully, yeah. Ask we'll around. We um, well, we'll we'll talk about music now. I think. All right, cool. So, do you want to start off with dub battle with number three? Well, okay, what genre we're we doing? Let's go. Um, let's go dub. Dubstep. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, we did dubstep. Let's do baseline. Baseline. I wasn't prepared for baseline. Oh, come on, you'd be able to pick something. I mean, you just had the. Mm. Alright, we'll do dubstep. Yeah, we'll do dubstep first. You want to play we'll yours just first? Put, put any song on. You want to play yours first? Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Let's do a new category. Any genre. Any genre. Yeah, song v song. We'll go back another way. But save the drum and bass one. Okay. Because we'll do drum and bass. I'll do drum and bass. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna play my first song. You go for it. Alright, that's the first drop. Okay. Mm-hmm. And don't worry, I'll give the ID after. I can't remember where it is, so I don't want to fuck it up. Actually, I don't have a song to match that second drop. It's All I Need by Kazo and AFK. AFK? Yep. Mother f- Wait, where's he been? AFK, get it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking nerd. Oh, what the fuck, man? My song will be Junk Mail by Leo Tricks. Oh, okay. Bit of a different kind of vibe. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure about that? That second drop kind of adds to it. Fuck off. He's a nuts tune, eh? When's the second drop? Like here? That'll do. Holy fuck. He's fucked, eh? He is fucked. How he do you make anything, that? Bro. I don't know. How do you make that? Man? I don't know, man. I don't know. Tell me. Is that the second drop? Yeah. That you were thinking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. It depends what you like, man. Yeah. I reckon first drop was definitely me. First drop was you. Second drop was me. Reaction was definitely me. You reckon? I don't know, man. I reckon we leave this to the people. To the people? Yeah, who's going to win? Junk mail. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think to the people. Thing, I think junk mail wins. I think, but yeah. we'll get, take it to the people. I to reckon. the people. To the people. To the people of the earth. Six one six. What? <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. Drum and bass this is my first tune. Stank face, bro. Skid save. Should I put my second drop while I'm here? Yeah, 100%. Yep. Pretty cool, hey. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, very nice, very nice, very cool. Ready for a battle? Yeah, go. I'm going to go Guess Who by Master Error. You won. <laughs> I didn't even need play so I could drop. Nah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Damn. Is it is the second drop different? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> Why does that sound like a Dasim tune? <laughs> the drum and bass played a Dasim tune. My glasses tune. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts, man. That's just, that's a tune, bro. Yeah, you won that. I won first. Oh, you, you won second. Me, and I won the reaction. I suck at this, man. <laughs> I need to find something that's going to beat you, ass boy. <laughs> oh. no, okay, you want to do another dub one? A dub one? Yeah. Like dubstep? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm playing my first tune. This is a fresh release. Beat that asshole. Oh, that's hard, bro. That's a fucking belter of a tune, hey. That's hard, man. All right, I'll try and I'm trying to match the same kind of dubstep to it. Okay. So I'm gonna go I'm angry by Dexamp. I knew you were gonna pick that, dude. I knew you were gonna pick that, and I know it's gonna win as well. <laughs> that was Fuss VIP by Sisto, by the way, the one I played. But yeah. I know you're gonna win this, bro. I knew it's literally second down from Fuss right now. I knew it was gonna I knew you were gonna pick that, you fucking asshole cunt. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> because I fucking love this song. I was gonna pick this song. And the second jump's like. How am I supposed to enjoy this now? 
hear the build up. Yeah, fuck <laughs> up, man. Play the second draw. Yeah. To the people? No, you won. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I got three and owed by you, you fucking cunt. Do you want to try baseline now? Can we can go baseline. However, I did do that release radar or that discover oh, weekly did you? thing. Okay, cool. I'll do it mine with you. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I'd love to do All that. All right, let's do that. Something on a lighter note. Where I yeah, because I don't have to. You. At least I won't have to fucking lose. <laughs> well, I could, but some of these are old songs, by the way. Yeah. So we're going to try a new segment out. Um, just a nice, easy, quick one. It's every Monday you discover weekly comes out. If you don't know about it, then you don't on care Spotify. about music on Spotify. So Lockie and I are going to pick our top three favorite tunes, play them a little bit quickly, and yeah, just show us our top three favorite to discover of the week. Top three, top three. Okay. So you want me to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. You go first. Um, Rock and Ride, Six Blade and AMC could popped up. Yep. I don't know if you've heard that one. No. <laughs> play a little bit of it. Ooh, brother. I went to. Oh no. Pretty fat, eh? That's pretty fucking fat, if you ask me, mate. I've never heard it before. I'm that, like, oh, cool. That's a chick running the Maccas right there, mate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. My first one would be Headshot by 808. Headshot. 808. Oh, yeah. This one? Yeah. It's a bit of like a deep dub. I don't know how to explain it. Then the drop? Yeah. But then he starts rapping. <laughs> I don't normally like deep, but that's nice. Yeah, and he starts rapping, he goes, fucking in your emotions. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Sounds skits, man. Um, This one's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Toten. Toten. By Hersha. Okay. Drum and bass again. Nice. Build up. Somebody got to die. Hit him twice, caught him right for the Persian wife. Oh. That's some sick artwork. Yeah, dude, not so. Good tune. All right, my next one is 139 by Zed's Dead. 139, I think I know that song. Yeah, nice little house track. Yeah, got it saved. Yep. It was actually in my Discover Weekly as well. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yep. Yo, flex on them. Uh, 
that's right up my alley. That's Last one right from you? Alley. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the rest of them. I got a Fibes tune here. Bubbling. Oh, bubbling? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But every, every other tune that like we know. Yeah, okay. But there's this one tune. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to play it. Yeah. It was in my Discover Weekly. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to play it and see what it is. Because I can't remember. <laughs> That's fat. I didn't even know that was in, but they, that was my top. That was in my it's got weekly as well. All right, my last one is Check by G Shells. That's vibey, dude. It's vibey. Where's my check? Where's my check? Where's my check? Everybody pay the respect. Now where's my check? Yeah. So That's we cool, man. Went for a bit longer today. Yeah. It's all right. Good to let everything out. Yeah. It was fun. For an for a improvised episode, I think we did pretty well. I think we had a lot of fun today. I, I do, I, I do want to play one more song. Yeah. What's our song of the week now? Okay. It's not the song of the week for you, is it? It's not going to be a song of my life. Okay. You don't want to do song of the week? We can do song of the week. We can do song of the week, yeah. And then but I'm, gonna say, I'm saying this might be the song of my life. Oh, song of your life. There's like six different drops, man. It's all hard stuff. We'll, we'll end oh. with that. Do you want to do the song of the week? Yeah, you go first. My song of the week? Yeah. Can you really, really think of anything else? Oh, Ultralight? Yes, sir. Okay. Ultralight by AMC. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Ultralight Canine AMC Remix. Yeah. Incredible, man. Incredible. Yeah. Naughty build up. Fat drop. Those little lasers are sick, bro. God. Ickle, ickle. Producer and God mixer. Yeah. He's the perfect King, heavy d and artist ever made. King, bro. King, bro. King. Okay, my turn. Yeah, Hard Side Never Dies, Zatox, or Zatox, nuts. But yeah, it's been a fun week, man. It's been a fun week. All right. Fun week. When you're back, we'll have Bromad on, and you will be back from SA. You can talk about the wedding. Yeah. All the family members you met. Yeah. Be fun. I just hurt my own thumb with my ring, dude. It's all right. I hurt. Well, let's go get a nice little cheeseburger for ourselves, I think. We earned yeah, it. Yeah, and what should we just put on a little song to... Uh, oh, actually, actually, I do want to finish with something before we do finish. Borgor, Timidy, Automate, Beast Boy, and Mad Dubs yeah, yeah. put out a song. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> this bit right here. That's been beast boyed, that drop. That, Fuck that, that, that drop's been beast boyed. That drop has been beast droid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, uh, in a while, crocodile, in a bit, chicken shit. See you in the next fortnight.